Information for STEM Ambassadors on how to register and manage your STEM Ambassador dashboard. It's great that you're ready to become a STEM Ambassador and volunteer for activities. Welcome to this video which aims to explain how to navigate the STEM Ambassadors website so you can manage your profile and volunteer for activities. The video is split into a number of sections. Getting started with volunteering. How to manage your dashboard. How to manage and add volunteering activities. And how to use the messaging service. Getting started with volunteering. The UK-based STEM Ambassador programme is open to people aged 17 and over who work, study or just generally have an interest in the STEM field. The first step to becoming a STEM Ambassador is to create an account with STEM Learning at www.stem.org.uk. Registration is free. Here is the page where you create an account. Firstly, complete your personal details. Please ensure that the first name and surname you provide are identical to your official ID documents as these will be needed to carry out your Disclosure and Barring Service Check DBS, or PVG Check if you're in Scotland. Then you'll be asked to create a username, insert your email address, and choose a password. We encourage you to use longer passwords that include a combination of lowercase, numbers and letters as these are stronger. Next, you need to choose the type of account you want and click STEM Volunteer further down the page. Finally, you'll need to confirm I am not a robot by completing a recapture test. You will have seen these on other websites and they're used to minimise spam on the website. This will then take you to step two, which is completion of the registration process as a STEM volunteer. This page is to gather information about yourself to match you with activities, as well as to allow the STEM Ambassador Hub to suggest activities which might be of interest. Insert your home address and phone numbers. A key thing to note is that there is a postcode lookup, which you will be familiar with from online shopping sites. Your postcode is key, as this will determine which geographical area you will be matched up with for STEM Ambassador activities, and also the local STEM Ambassador Hub, who will be in regular contact with you. STEM Ambassador Hubs administer the programme locally on behalf of STEM Learning and are very happy to help you with any aspect of volunteering. Next, insert your date of birth, ethnicity and gender. Then insert your employment status. We also welcome volunteers who are unemployed or retired and there is an option to select either of these. If you are employed, you will be asked to complete details of the organisation you work in. There is also an option to complete past employers, but this isn't compulsory. Please tick the box if you are happy for us to share your volunteering details with your employer and also tick the box if you are taking part on the suggestion of your employer. If you know it, also enter the name of the person responsible for volunteering work within your organisation. Scroll down and complete membership of any professional institution. When you enter a professional institution, you should find it appears from the lookup box. Next, Complete the types of activity and the ages and audience you are interested in supporting. When you get to the box on My Activity Preference, you will see it has been automatically filled in with your home postcode, but you can change it if you wish to volunteer for activities in a different geographical area.
Finally, you'll need to accept our terms and conditions and click the register button. Once the registration process is complete, an account verification email will be sent to you. You will need to click on the link in this email to confirm that your account has been set up and to allow you to access your STEM Ambassadors dashboard. Once you've fully registered and have verified your account, you will receive a welcome email from your local STEM Ambassador hub to confirm your registration. This email will also consist of what you need to do next in order to become a STEM Ambassador. Here is where you'll get information about the induction and DBS or PVG process. How to manage your dashboard. To access your dashboard, sign in at www.stem.org.uk. To sign in, click the sign in button on the top right hand side of the screen. You can also select Request new password on the next page if you don't remember the password you created when setting up the account. Enter your email address or username and password to sign in. Once you've signed in, you'll be taken to your dashboard. This screen gives access to all the functions of the STEM Learning website. But in this video, we concentrate on the STEM Ambassador dashboard functions. The central area of the dashboard gives you a snapshot of your profile and volunteering activities. On the left hand side you will see the toolbar which gives you access to all the functions of the STEM Ambassadors website. In this video we will be focusing on profile and activities which are the key functions to enable you to volunteer as a STEM Ambassador. However, before we do this a brief mention about the other three functions. You'll have noticed that the registration process only captured your personal details. Your profile covers more details and we'll be covering how to update this in a moment. Clicking on the Resources tab will enable you to add and share resources with other STEM ambassadors. Clicking on the Groups tab will give you suggested community groups which you could join or alternatively, you could search for groups according to your interests. Clicking on the Magazine tab gives suggested articles and content from the main STEM Learning website, which you can click on and view. Now, let's return to looking at Profile. It's really important to give as much information as you can on your profile to provide the best chance of effective activity matching as this is an automatic process based on the information you provide. Your profile is separated into five sections and you will see number one, about me. Make any necessary changes and then click the edit button at the bottom of the page to edit any details. It's critical to insert if you've done the online induction here as your STEM Ambassador Hub will need to know this. Completing your biography is really important as this is the information which activity owners can see about you so make sure you add in any details you think will be relevant to being a volunteer. You'll also see on the top left hand side that this is where you upload a photograph for your identity card to take with you when volunteering as a STEM ambassador. On the right you'll see a brief explanation of the photo requirement and an option to download photograph guidance. One thing you won't be able to edit is the local STEM Ambassador Hub as this is automatically allocated according to the home address entered. Once you're happy with the changes, click the Submit button at the bottom of the screen. Number 2. Account Details Click the Account Details button to view and edit. This area contains details such as your username and email address. It's important that you also contact your local STEM Ambassador Hub if you change your name as it may affect your DBS or PVG application. You can easily change these details but you will need to enter your current password 
to change the email address on your account. Click Submit when you're happy with any changes you've made. Number three, My Employment. This area contains any employment details you have provided. Click on My Employment to view. Click the Edit button at the bottom of the page to edit any details. For example, you can change your employment status from unemployed to full time. As well as things you can change using the relevant drop down boxes, there are a couple of additional questions to answer if you're in full time or part time employment. A. Whether you are happy for us to share your volunteer work with your employer. B. Whether you are taking part on the suggestion of your employer. These answers help us to track STEM ambassador activities and provide useful information back to employers. Once you're happy with your answers, click the submit button at the bottom of the page. Number four, skills and qualifications. Click on the skills and qualifications tab. Click on the edit button at the bottom of the screen to make changes. This section contains details such as your career history and your areas of expertise. You can also enter any professional institutions you may be a member of using the lookup function. Your areas of expertise will be used to match you with activities, so you should select as many areas as are relevant to you. This section contains a variety of free text boxes and tick boxes. To save any changes, click Submit when you've finished. Number five, Preferences. Click on the Preferences tab. This section contains your activity preference information with details of what age group you would prefer to work with and what types of activity you're happy to deliver. Your postcode and distance of operation are also held in this area. Along with this activity preference information, the postcode is used to match activities with you. Try and select as many activities and age groups as possible as this will broaden the number of activities you are matched with. Your operational postcode will be set to your home postcode unless you change this at registration, but this can be set to the most relevant for you. The distance is radial to the entered postcode. At the bottom of the screen, we ask you to state your contact preferences and agree to our terms and conditions and privacy policy. Press the Submit button when you're happy with any changes. How to manage and add activities. Click on the Activities drop-down box on the left-hand side. This will bring up a list of subheadings. Click on the Browse button or My Matches, which has already been refined based on your stated preferences. This will open up a list of all current activities. You have the opportunity to refine this list further by entering details on the right hand side, such as the distance from you, the date you would like to do an activity, or the type of activities you're interested in. Click Refine box at the top or bottom right hand side and this will reduce the list to match the criteria you've selected. If you spot an activity which looks interesting, click on it to open up further details, including the location, who it's aimed at and the date. If you're interested in volunteering for this activity, click the Express Interest button on the bottom of the page, otherwise use the back arrow to return to the full list of activities. Clicking the Express Interest button will result in a number of mandatory questions about what you hope to get out of the activity. These answers help you and us to evaluate the success of STEM ambassador activities.
Clicking the Express Interest button will also notify the owner that you've expressed an interest. An owner is the person who has posted the activity and is usually a teacher, group organiser or a STEM ambassador hub. You can either send a message to the owner at this point or the owner can respond to you with further questions which you'll be able to see in the messaging section. Or the owner can simply accept you immediately and offer position onto the activity. If you're happy to support the activity, you will need to click Accept Offer to ensure the activity is recorded correctly onto your profile once it's completed. However, if you change your mind or are unable to attend due to other circumstances, you still have the opportunity to decline the offer at this stage and continue searching for more suitable activities. Upcoming activities are activities you've been accepted onto. Require feedback are those activities which you need to give feedback on. This is critical for providing feedback and helping us to evaluate impact. Expressed interest are details of activities which you've expressed interest in but have not yet been accepted by the activity owner. Clicking on Add Activity is where you need to log a volunteering activity before or after an activity if it hasn't already happened. This process happens automatically if you do an activity which you've expressed interest in and had your offer accepted by the activity owner via this website. Having a record of your activities means you get credited for the number of hours you volunteer and we're able to evaluate the effectiveness and impact of the activities. Complete the name of the activity and tell us about it. Use the address lookup to add the venue for the activity. Once you've found the address, click Select Dress to populate the details. If the postcode is not picking up any addresses, please fill it in manually. Enter the duration, how long you took to prepare the activity and the audience. Finally, click Add this activity button at the bottom right hand side of the page. This will produce a completed activity page which looks like this. How to use the messaging service. STEM ambassadors and activity owners can message each other on the specific activities they have expressed an interest in. For example, you could message to ask if there is any flexibility regarding the date and time of an activity or ask for more details if it looks interesting but you want more information. Or simply introduce yourself and say why you're interested in a particular volunteering activity. Likewise, teachers, technicians, youth and community group organisers may want to ask questions about the ambassador's STEM background and how they can support. This is where you can exchange email addresses if the activity owner needs to send more information, for example attachments to the STEM ambassador. To write a message to the activity owner, you will need to click on Reply, complete your message and click Send. You will be able to see the full conversation between you and any organiser.